四条小生命被砍至少八十刀，离奇凶杀一时谣言满天。阿仔，甚至有人传言，杀童恶魔给受害父母寄了一张贺年片，幸灾乐祸，说他们绝子绝孙。所以这个案件是有点奇怪。That the person who committed the crime is heartless, must be punished at all costs. 未被找到的证据不等于证据不在场。如果我们可以用今天的这个科技，就可以很容易的定罪，是说谁是那个嫌犯。大概是五年前搬来这边附近，所以经常有来这边成印。经常啊，走过的时候啊，都会有一点黯然神伤的感觉。这个案件呢，已经过了四十二年，到现在还没有破。我叫何英。过去我在报馆是呃，主要是采访意外新闻、犯罪新闻，还有警方的新闻我前后出版了。十本著作，大部分都是记录过去师承发生的一些重案跟奇案。呃，我记得那一天是一九七九年一月六号的事情吧。我当时是在报馆里面执勤，就接到警方的通知啊，说给他们八路发生了谋杀案，就马上带了四四五位同事一起到现场。很多警车啊，呃，还有救护车，什么甚至镇暴车，那么就是所谓红车，团团围住那一段，整个现场就封锁了。那一天是星期六，不到一个月就要过年了，究竟什么人被杀，在哪里被杀，为什么会被杀，大家议论纷纷。I joined the Singapore Police Force in the year 1965, and uh, rose to the rank of from a sergeant to an inspector, and uh, finally to an assistant superintendent of police. 当时 Simon 是刑事侦查局的探员，接到消息说有四个孩子被乱刀砍死。That the person who committed the crime is heartless, you know, and uh, must be punished at all costs. Hey, Ricky. Simon, I've been seeing you for a long time. Huh? Simon Subaya is a famous detective in the Philippines. I can't recognize this place. Huh? Oh, this is uh, Block 58, I think. Uh, no more, demolished. No more, yeah. I think Block 61 uh, has got similar layout. Oh, uh, I can maybe take a look there. Yeah, OK, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Still bring back the old memory. I mean, you know, I mean, even it's 40 over years. Ah, uh, murder. Uh, you know, it just cannot get out of our mind. Uh. Of course, motive is very important. When you go to the scene, we have to establish 
motif。第五十八座祖屋的五楼，当时弥漫着诡异的气氛。两人之中，只有 Simon 亲眼看到凶杀现场。We try to tell the public, look here, let, let's not obstruct our investigation and to stay away. 我们在现场，我记得等了差不多两个小时，警方发言人才跟我们讲说，一个城市。夫妇啊，发现他是个小孩子被杀了。当时我们有要求要进去现场，或警方以这个四个小孩子这个死状啊，惨不忍睹啊，那么就是不允许我们去，争取了蛮久啊，啊，警方发言人才允许各报派一个记者进去现场看。所以我们就站一个进来报馆，没有几个月的同事进去，主要的目的是给他连连打。<咳>那个同事脸色苍白，想吐一直想吐。没事吧<咳> ？I met my colleague, the investigator of the case, who informed me that four bodies are in the toilet. In all my career in the CID, I've never seen four children being murdered in such a way. 那个新同事，他是看到四个小孩的尸体啊，是一个跌一个。The female was right at the top, and the, the children all uh, uh, brutally hacked, and one of the child, the hand was cho chopped off. Dangling, leaving behind a small, uh, by by small a piece of flesh. 遇害的陈家兄妹，大哥国平十岁，老二国兴八岁，老三国顺六岁，以及五岁的珍妮。他们的父母陈庆才和李美英，案发时在外工作。Wow, there are two CCTVs in one leaf. Yeah. With those days, we don't have not, not even a single CCTV. And it went narrow. Uh. Yeah. I just wondered why so close, uh, no one heard anything right. and, and all that. In my writing, every time I wrote these cases, I always felt very hard. I wrote them many times. 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 啊，不要去写他。不过，另外一方面就好像有个声音告诉我，你应该去写。这个案件的记者会是在现场的楼下紧急开的，只有非常重要的案件，警方才会当场开记者会。因为牵涉的都是无辜的小孩子，呃，杀人的手法也令人发指啊！各报记者，大家听了啊，心情都很不好，呃，就是呃，有一些甚至双眼都红了。警方在调查这个案件的开始。就发现说他没有这个破门的迹象，怀疑是熟人所干的。那个时候，警方每一个早上都有记者会啊，我们都有追问，动机啊，有没有嫌犯落网啊，等等啊，几乎天天都追问。我记得有一家报馆。甚至一连十二天呐、啊，在报道各种的传说。是什么传言足以让记者追踪十几天？四个孩子的爸妈得罪了什么人？怎么会发生这样的悲剧？那个新同事，他是看到
，四个小孩的尸体啊，一个跌一个。All badly hacked on the head, face, arms. That was how gruesome it was. 几个礼拜前，我去拜祭这四个小孩子，他们的小小的墓碑上面还有一些祭品，新的祭品跟玩具，你可见啊，有很多公众人士还是非常关心。这个案件发生后，当然是牵动了整个社会的神经啊。I would say that in those days, you had more violent crimes. 据我所知，当时那一带住的这个居民啊，他们都人心惶惶啊。那么，如果是有小孩子的，尤其是年幼小孩子的，他们都担心说，一连杀四个小孩子，害怕是那种杀人狂还是什么？当时我国独立。建国大概十多年了，这个经济忽然间转型，一些中下层阶级的人呢、啊，宁愿跟政府租屋子住，因为费用比较低嘛。父母啊，就要出去外面工作，为了工作忙，就是把孩子交托给左邻右舍看，有点好像天生天养啊。在七十年代，严重的罪案，各区都蛮平静的。In 2020, a Gallup Global Law and Order report showed that 97% of residents in Singapore feel safe when walking alone in their neighbourhoods at night. In comparison, a survey of public attitude towards crime prevention behaviours in 1981 showed that there was a strong fear of crime. 51% feared becoming a victim of crime. 对治安不放心，有些父母出外工作就把年幼孩子留在家中，以为在家最安全。陈庆才买了一辆辅助巴士沿街载客，太太李美英是车上的检票员。案发当天，他们清晨约六点三十五分离家工作。据说赵丽先去看看孩子们才离开。等一下，记得叫醒大家 ，OK？ 他们的儿子都在明治小学念书，小女儿珍妮五岁，刚进幼稚班。每天早上有一段时间，他们自己在家。上午七点十分。李美英像往常一样打电话回家，叫他们起床。几次都无人接听，她转而找邻居。Hello， 安迪啊，哎，我是隔壁阿英哈。哎，你可以去我家大大声敲门吗？帮我查一下孩子起来了没有？不懂啊，我打电话给他没有人接嘞。我拜托你哈。国平，邻居以为孩子只是贪睡觉不行。根据死亡调查报告，陈家兄妹的死亡时间可能是上午六点多到七点多之间，但邻居们都没听到屋子里传出半点声音。陈庆才夫妇放工回家，已经过了上午十点。国平，四个小孩子的石状啊，的确是很恐怖啊。根据其中一个警方发言人，就是那个陈炳发，助理警鉴啊，他说他有进去现场看到那个尸体
他说他当警官十二年来啊，最恐怖的一个谋杀案。一下子失去所有四个孩子，李美英又做了绝育手术，这个打击不是一般人能承受。啊，尤其是他的妈妈，当天就阴了几次。那么第二天，呃，根据我个同事跟我讲，他去那个脸书房，他的外婆在那边呼天抢地的诅咒那个凶手。那么也希望说，四个小孩子能够托梦给他们，使这个凶手早日落网。为什么四十多年过去，当年案发的五十八座祖屋已拆除又重建，血案却一直没有被侦破？近期有人也查到，孩子们的爸爸来不及知道真相就去世了。哎，你好，你好。以前住这边吗？以前哦，以前住这边大白鬼吼大白几号，有听过吗？四个小孩子被杀。邱美玲是本地义务组织新加坡罪案图书馆的义工，最近到牙龙巴鲁一带做街头访问，希望能鼓励命案的知情者站出来，提供破案线索给警方。就住这个，应该四十多年。四十多年啦、啊，所以那个时候发生的时候，你们有听到啦？很多啊，那个人一下手四个孩子，我真的听得好残忍。那时候我们还很年轻，二十多岁而已。罪案图书馆是一个协助命案受害家庭的义务组织，为家属提供精神上的支援，主要通过社交媒体呼吁公众为悬案提供线索。美玲相信，不断引起大家对悬案的注意，会增加警方接获新线索的可能性。我们一直为这个家人呼吁了，希望。有些还像旧邻居啦，还是住在这里附近的居民，有听到什么，还是看到什么？四十多年前，呃，没有讲出来，可能他们现在决定 OK， 他们要讲出来。案发当时，社会议论纷纷，警方呼吁目击者挺身而出，却没有人站出来，各种江湖传言又不能被警方证实。案情扑朔迷离。Again, this is most unusual, and I would say unfortunate that no one actually witnessed anything. There was no forced entry. The house was not ransacked, so we can rule out, for example, house breaking or robbery. It would be done by someone who is able to get access into the house. 这个案件有很多传闻呐，甚至有一度啊，还传说这个妈妈的一个亲戚被警方逮捕，这个父母在他的老家开记者会来澄清。那个时候我有去，呃，这个记者会，不过去到的时候他们又又不太要讲了。警方追查一个跟钱有关的传闻。一个说法是，妈妈是银会的会头，跟会脚起争执，不知是会脚欠钱，还是孩子的妈妈私吞人家的钱。另一个说法是万字票，有人的奖金被妈妈吞了，气不过下毒手。有两名妇女就因为钱的问题被叫去问话。不过警方没有找到进一步的证据证实这些传言。然而，案发第八天出现转折，被警方问话的是个年轻男性。就有一个的士司机向警方通报，说他载了一个年轻人呢，就在这个呃命案现场附近，大概是大牌六十一元什么。那么那个年轻人呢的衣服上啊，有点血迹。而且他的那个裤头啊，露出一个刀柄。啊，哥哥，这里停，这里停。司机曾问青年怎么身上有血，他说是被人打伤。
today we have uh, a lot of other technology to assist uh, investigation. We have what you call DNA. You know, we can do a lot of searches, but during those days, technologies were lacking.哎,接電話。呀,接電話。那么有另外一个说法是爸爸讲的啦有吴姓邻居说我们查问的时候I can only say that to be done by someone, maybe known to the parents. No stranger would just go into the house and just hack one kid after another and then pile them up in the toilet. Xiong Shou is not a special background. Because in 1979, the 街坊口中忠厚老实的夫妻是否真有隐瞒家人在孩子的忌日当追思复告希望我的小小的贡献能给他们家属一些安危还有小孩子可以安息去年最暗图书馆主办提高最暗防范意识的活动遇到陈家老邻居上来攀谈还帮忙牵线结果美玲和其他义工又联系了更多的老邻居。Maria案发当年只有三岁，和父母及哥哥们住在陈家同一座祖屋的同一层楼，两家人隔着一座楼梯。uh, then my husband, late husband, uh, she, uh, he can talk a little bit Chinese, Mandarin, or Hokkien like that. Uh. Then my husband always talk with the uh, Achaya, the husband. 
the time all uh, got uh, my neighbors all got the small small children. I remember the small like the small girl uh, look like the Japanese like that. Uh, very cute, the hair bitter like that. Uh, I give it to my uh, children and then she come and then she asked me, I want, I want. She said like that. Asam pedas, little bit spicy lah. She eat uh, and then all. Wet and red the face, you know. I said, okay, stop. Ah. I said, I want, I want. I give two, three times like that. Lah. Hey, Papa here. In 1979, Me and my brothers are crying uh, unusually uh, that night before. And so they decided to bring me and my brothers to my grandma house in Bedok. We were actually crying the day before it happened. So I think we children might sense something. Yeah. Chen Jia Xiong Mei, Zong Gong Bei Kan Chao Go Ba Shi Dao. Zhu Yao Xiong Qi Shi Cai Dao. Ling Wai Hai Yo Liang Dao Bei Tsi De Shang Kou. Qi Guai De Shi. 为什么邻居听不到惨叫？难道是孩子们被下了迷药？报章指出，有关当局有做药物检验，但结果似乎没有公开。也有消息指出，老大国平有跟凶手对抗的迹象。因此，他的一只手臂几乎被砍断。他手中还抓着小左头发，照案发当年的说法，是孩子自己的。你所谓推理啊，你要有一定的实际的线索来推。警方什么都没讲，我们又不是查案人员，是很难去推测这个凶手到底是怎样的一个人。今天更为系统化的犯罪心理学，又能否为当年凶手的丧尽天良提供某种理解的框架呢？有几个原因为害人杀人。一，可能孩子看到什么，想要制止孩子；第二，可能是因为他们看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人，看到了一个人， There's a fourth reason, which is sexually motivated. So on the question of how families can, uh, can try and cope with the difficulty of losing their own children, you know, the answer is quite straightforward. It just destroys their whole world, right? The killing of children is actually one of the most uh, uh, difficult kinds of crimes to witness, even for police officers, very experienced police officers. Yeah, you all don't anything. You just quiet, lah. My husband just tell me let the last is all the acai, prepare the food. I said okay, lah. You quiet, lah. I said like that. And the wife, ah, I never see, lah. Go Ping, 吃饭啦。你是哥哥，要照顾弟弟妹妹啊。我顺，吃饭哈
My children still play outside. I just remind them, don't disturb say, that, that guy. Eh? Or play outside their house, just quietly like that. Don't go inside. Try to find a friend. Lah. If Yalong Balu Sinjin 亚龙巴鲁四个小兄妹被杀案情离奇查案人员找不到可用的指纹我是陈伟林教授我是新加坡国立大学高级常务副校长和法政科学课程主任法政科学的原因何在原因就是provide objective evidence to the court 我们知道小孩的手上有头发问题是谁的头发如果有毛根也就很容易的用 DNA 脱氧和糖核酸如果是犯罪人的头发就可以很容易的定罪是说谁是那个嫌犯 nuclear DNA 我们也可以看到其他的部分 Mitochondria DNA 有一句话 法网恢恢, 疏而不漏, 如果我们可以用今天的科技通过现场重建，犯罪心理学家和法政搜集人员将进一步揭开凶手的内心秘密。So here we are at the crime scene of the Gelang Baru murders. As you can see, it's a small one-room apartment. Yeah, very small actually, the place. And when the parents actually came back, they actually observed at the door that there was actually no signs of forced entry. That's right. Right. And so as the mom moved towards the back of the house, mm -hmm. through the kitchen, right, she passed by this sink. And on this sink, you can see that there's actually a drop of blood left behind. Mm -hmm. There is only one solitary drop. This suggests that uh, this probably was a blood stain left behind by the culprit mm -hmm. when he was actually cleaning himself off. It may show a lot of uh, precautionary behaviours. They, they may have attempted to clean up. Uh, there could be other reasons, but you know, right now, it's somebody being really careful. So when people look at blood, they might think that, oh, with blood, they can probably identify the suspect. However, in this case, at that time, uh, the blood was not of much use, except for perhaps some form of uh, basic identification, where the blood was used for uh, ABO typing. Actually, this brings up one of the important points in forensic science, where the absence of evidence mm. does not indicate the evidence of absence. Absolutely true. In fact, one of the more recent techniques that the police do use now is the use of a chemical known as luminol. Mm -hmm. 
where this actually helps to visualize some of the uh, invisible blood stains. Luminol是一个化学成分，能够寻找这些血迹。线线蓝色的就是有血迹的部分。我们能够采取DNA样本来做比对，嫌犯把他的呃衣服或衣物清洗了之后，我们如果怀疑他的衣物是残留有血迹
翻查这些旧案呢、啊，只要有新的线索、新的举报啊，他们都会重启这个调查的行动啊。So advances in latent fingerprint and DNA technology have improved dramatically, and when these techniques improve, evidence could be reviewed. 本地的罪案防范意识跟上世纪七十八十年代相比，有了长足的发展。邻居守望相助的概念深入邻里，结合闭路电视的普及，为罪案防范打下坚固基础。Singapore is probably one of the safest places in the world, right? So you see children walking very safely in the streets. Thanks to the, to the work of what uh, the police has done over these years, uh, you can see that many families walk quite safely with their young children without this kind of fear. It was not entirely a safe place uh, many, many years ago. We've made it a lot safer. 自从跟牙龙巴鲁第五十八座的住户取得联系。美玲和其他义工尽量一一拜访，录制访问他们的视频，上在社交媒体，一个一个去联络。我们的名单还很长啊，当然是一还没有还没有呃 visit 到完。您当时就是搬进去的时候，我小孩子，他们说，这个太嗯，太太残忍，太残忍了。Hello, Uncle. Do you have time to talk to me? Do you want to talk to me? No. As a mother, I really hope to find the child. Who has hurt the child? Do you also have a lot of people who say, Oh, I can't find it. This case has been so many years. The child is not there. Why do you have to do it? Why do you have to talk to me? Why do you have to talk to me? Why do you have to talk to me? 请问你有一点时间吗？想问你哈，我在收单了，几分钟而已啦。不要，哪怕他是三十年、四十年、五十年，对吗？的悬案，我们就一直要把它 keep it alive。If I could turn back clock, and I do hope that I would be there to do something for the four young children. 永远要记得 ，low cut principle， 就是说 ，every contact leaves a trace。你触摸到什么东西，右手碰到左手，右手的东西就会在左手上发生，就会啊接触到。法网恢恢，疏而不漏。就希望这个一九七九年的悬案可以有一个结果。我坚决相信，只要人心不冷啊，冷暗也有破冰的一天。你可以通过 m i l l i s o n 应用程序、Spotify 或 Apple Podcast 收听更多新加坡的重大案件。